I hate when women gatekeep being supported. Men do it too. You get a lot from men and hateful comments, um, especially being an artist. Uh, a lot of men will be like, oh, get a job or something. Even if you are a very successful artist, you'll get men telling you, go fuck off, go get a job, you lazy piece of shit, whatever. And they'll all, those men will also say the same thing to women. Uh, so they're pretty consistent. But one thing I hate about women is when they gatekeep being supported. They act like they're the only ones who deserve that. It's a lot easier for a woman to get that kind of support. It comes with ups and downs. Not everything's good about being a woman. Not everything's good about being a man. And uh, a lot of times with that support comes some dehumanization. Maybe you're on OnlyFans or something. Or maybe with that support you have to be kind of like a, a servant. Maybe you get taken care of by your husband. You have to cook and clean for him. Maybe with that support people you get taken advantage of. Maybe someone wants a sexual favor in return for, for helping you with something. That's also horrible. It's probably the most horrible example so far. And despite those bad things, women regardless do get a lot more support. And sometimes they don't have any of those consequences, especially in progressive uh, modern relationships in society. And when women act like a man trying to get support like that somehow is uh, breaking the mold. Somehow they, they're not okay with it. They're like, oh, you're They're protective of that, sometimes. Certain type of woman, usually the essentialist feminist types in particular. It's very hurtful. Because it doesn't only stem into financial support. There's financial support, there's emotional support, which women get a lot of emotional support compared to men. There is, uh, like, career support or skill support, you learn different skills. A lot of women get taken under the wing by men who teach them lots of things. They get uh, to move ahead in life in that way. And men are just kind of have to, they have to be lone wolves, kind of really desperately struggling. Most of us aren't so lucky to get that kind of support. We have to be very independent emotionally and financially and uh, train ourselves. I think a lot of women feel insecure about the support, so when they're confronted with it, they'll lash out and they'll say, well, I deserve this, so why are you, why are you resentful of that? Because I'm resentful of women that have that, but I'm honest, I, I, I really am. I resent that. It's not something I think about every day or talk about every day, but it's something I'm resentful that women have that support in all of these ways that make their lives a lot more fulfilling. And uh, when I try to fill that role, I would love to be a housewife. I would love to cook and clean and just make art and have a wife that takes care of me and financially and pays the bills and I'd uh, cook all her meals and clean the house and make everything beautiful and spend my time on my art projects and make a garden. I would love that. 
I, I don't think that's in the cards. It's not. It's something I used to really push for, really hoped for when I was a femboy. And I tried to make myself more like an object, just so I could get that. In practice, it sort of just resulted in women that hate men, kind of like femboys, and they kind of uh, will kind of use and discard you, kind of like a subject object, just like women get treated. And uh, it's, it wasn't easy for me to find. Those women are far and few between, and the women that will actually fully support you are even fewer and far in between. A lot of women, if if they're making more money than you, will start getting mad at you or complaining. Some women aren't like that. But in my life, I've had a lot of experiences where I get shamed for a lot of these things. It has built a lot of resentment. So that's something I hate about women. Thank you.